I had a guy reach out to me on Facebook looking to sell his old PlayStation and games, and he's got some decent stuff. He's got the console with multiple controllers. He's got like Crash Bandicoot. He's got Oddworld, and there's even one banger in there, which is Digimon World for PlayStation 1. That's a childhood favorite of mine. I actually grew up playing it, and I already have it in my personal collection, so it is going to be a double. I know that game alone is worth like 50 to 60 bucks, and we agreed on $40 for everything, so I'm out here uh, waiting on him to get here, so... We're gonna get it on camera. Let's get this good stuff. Hello, hello. Hey, man. How you doing? How are you? Good, good. You made it. Are you, right, dude? you don't mind if I check the stuff out, do you? Absolutely. Cool, cool. Appreciate you meeting me halfway. Yeah, yeah there might be some games double stacked in there too. Right on. Got all the classics: Crash Bandicoot, Oddworld. Honestly, that ended up in my lap two years ago, and it's been in storage since. So oh, really? I don't even know what to do with it. Well, if you come across anything else in storage, definitely let me know. Yeah, man. Cool, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, man. Appreciate you meeting me Appreciate halfway. It, Take care. Really quick, before we head back to the house, I want to show you guys what I got. So... There's multiple controllers, mostly third party, but we do have a green PlayStation controller here. We got the system down there. I didn't see any memory cards, and that's kind of sucks because I'm all out of spares, but that's okay. Let's see what games we got here. We've got Ready to Rumble Boxing. Pretty good, pretty good. We got Ball Breakers, Harry Potter, Crash Team Racing. Crash Bandicoot 2, another Crash Team, oh, it's a Crash Team Racing case, but it has Crash Nitro Kart Disc. We got Gran Turismo. I actually just sold one of these Crash Bandicoots for like 20 bucks on eBay, so that's pretty solid. Ooh, and there's a Crash Warped underneath it. All right. Hey, let's go. We got Oddworld, Apes Exodus. I actually never played this one. I played Abe's Odyssey, and I actually played the PS4 remake, went through and got the Platinum Trophy, which is pretty difficult because there was the time restriction for one of the trophies, but. Ooh, looks like it's there. What do we got here? Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories. I just sold this disc only on eBay for 20 bucks, so it's pretty solid. God of War 3 disc only. That wasn't even in the photos that he sent to me. At least I might have looked over it, but I didn't see it. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 3 has a God of War 2 disc in it. Strange. Okay. Digimon World. Oh, it's a Digimon World 3 case, but it has Digimon World 1 disc in there. I wonder if the... Ooh, it's got Digimon World 3 underneath. No way. And it's got Digimon World 1. Oh, it's 1, 2, and 3. What? We got all three Digimon worlds there. Let's go. Let's go. All right. We got Speed Punks, which I know is like, I want to say 20 plus. I might hold on to this one for the collection, but I'm not sure. I'm not quite sure if I want to keep this one yet or not. We'll see. We'll see. What else do we got? Sled Storm. So we got some common stuff and then we got some pretty good stuff. I'm not sure about the value of the other Digimon worlds, but I know that Digimon World 1 greatest hits is like, I wanna say 50 to 60 bucks, but disc only probably, probably 30-ish. So I'm gonna go home, resurface this stuff, clean the cases up, test the console, all that good stuff. And we'll go over it there. Really quick before I test the console and price chart everything and show you guys what it's all worth, I just want to talk about how I process this stuff. So all of the discs are actually going to get run through my disc resurfacer so that they're minty and scratch free. As you can see, they all have noticeable wear and I don't like selling games like this so they all do get resurfaced. If anybody has discs that they need resurfaced, hit me up on Instagram. I do them for $3 each plus shipping both ways. But I also de-sticker all of the cases. 
So everything that has stickers on it will get removed and all of the cases will get wiped down with isopropyl alcohol so that they're not dirty. Any of the ones that are disc only will get their own, their own jewel cases. And I also test all the consoles that I sell. So I do put a little bit of work into this stuff, but yeah, let's, uh, let's do that and then go over everything. I got the PlayStation 2 all plugged up and we're going to turn it on and test it out. So we got the red light. That's a good sign. Let's see if there's a bonus disc. Oh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 3 because that case had something else in it. So this game was with that lot. I thought it was just an empty case. Very nice. So we're going to test Crash Nitro Cart, which I actually just resurfaced. And it looks minty. That machine I have is a beast, but yeah, let's, let's check it out. Oh, it reads discs. Universal Interactive presents a turbocharged extravaganza Ooh. by my curious visions. Looks like it's working to me. All right, we got a working PlayStation 2. Let's go. Let's get into the recap. It's been a few weeks since I had that really cool PlayStation pickup for 40 bucks, and I actually already sold everything from that pickup. So we're going to go out in the office. We're going to pick a random game to give away, and we'll go from there. Let's get it. All right, so we got a bunch of stuff here. Let's see what we got. All of this stuff is pretty common. Hmm. Let's see what we got over here. Ah. Here we go. How about Grand Theft Auto? Why don't we give away Grand Theft Auto? I don't think we've done that yet. If you guys have been watching my recent videos, you know that I've been giving games away. And this video is no different, so I'm giving away Grand Theft Auto 3 for PlayStation 2. All you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, so hit the little subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram, because if you win, we're going to have to coordinate shipping for this thing somehow. And then drop a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite PlayStation 2 game is and why. Mine is actually Kingdom Hearts. I went through and 100% of the game like 10 times back in the day. And I even got the Platinum Trophies on PS3 and PS4. So that's my favorite game. Let me know what yours is. Let's get into the recap. I got all this stuff laid out, and I really quick want to show you guys what I got and how much it's worth. So I did put the system and these games into price charting. I didn't put these controllers in just because they're valued $15 or less. And then these two are actually third party. But we got some pretty solid titles here, like all three Digimon Worlds. There's Yu-Gi-Oh, Crash Bandicoot, Speed Punks. I didn't put these games here in just because they're valued $15 or less. But there is still some solid titles, like we've got multiple Crash Bandicoots. There's Odd World, uh, God of War 3, which I actually got the Platinum Trophy for. And then we've got Gran Turismo, Ready to Rumble. So it is solid stuff, even though it's not very valuable. But the price charting total for just the stuff that I did price chart comes to 256.60. The best stuff there is going to be the Digimon World 2 disc only at $59. The PlayStation 2 console at $68. The other two Digimon Worlds at $35 and $33. So yeah, not a bad pickup for $40. Price charting total is $250, so I'm pretty happy with that. I do just really quick want to say that if you guys are ever interested in anything that I have, reach out to me on Instagram. I'm always willing to cut out the eBay fees and hook up my Instagram peeps, so definitely shoot me a follow there. But anyways, on to the next. That's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and on to the next.